here's another amazing stepping stone for you. Well, as long as you can stay in alignment with it to even remember it, it will continue to be a stepping stone for you. Otherwise, you'll forget about it just as fast as anything else. With family, close relationships, or your closest personal relationships, have you ever felt like someone crossed you? Have you ever felt abused? Have you ever had the thought while tensions are high in the presence of a coworker or a close personal relationship where you thought, it doesn't matter what I think as long as I just don't say anything type of thoughts? And have you ever just let it rip in your mind, like curse like a sailor because you didn't think it mattered as long as they couldn't physically hear you? The following helps explain why such thoughts are like shooting yourself in the foot and also explains why some people aren't comfortable with looking some people directly in the eye, as well as the other end of the spectrum, which is when someone is staring you down. When I do the instant mass healing demonstration, which I only do at live events, I ask my audience, have you heard the saying, the eyes are the windows to the soul? I tell the whole audience that the principles I'm demonstrating actually prove that the eyes are a direct connection subconsciously. If it were more of a direct conscious connection, we would be even more aware of it, but it's not. And even though they're not even more consciously aware of it, it doesn't let you off the hook because it's the subtle things that are the fastest, easiest, and most powerful things. How many of you like fast, easy, and powerful. It's the subconscious mind that's really running things. Looking at the conscious mind is like looking at a computer screen only. The subconscious is everything happening in the background. What your conscious mind takes two hours to process, your subconscious can easily process within a split second. I have proven this principle at live events all over the world with the instant mass healing demonstrations for entire audiences. Now, an important point to consider. With those who we've had very strong relationships with, distance is not even a factor. Whenever you think and especially say their name, that individual gets every word that follows. That's right. And I have proven this for many years. I know this is correct. Performing the live instant mass healing demo for 1,000 people all at the same time is more advanced in how it's done, but is just as easy for me as it is one-on-one. -on -one. If you've ever experienced it with me, especially if you've done the training to learn how to do it one-on-one, -on -one, then you know what I'm talking about. The one-on-one -on -one training is called the Instant Health Data Transfer, and for even longer, I've called it Jedi Mind Healing. I was blessed to develop a process with 100% success in teaching others how to do the Instant Health Data Transfer one-on-one -on -one, just as fast and easy as I do. That particular technique is one that I only teach live, it's a form of paradosis, an empowerment gift transfer process similar to the process Christ was using to gift his disciples with specific empowerment and abilities. I've shared this gift with many, many people who have made the commitment to obtain the empowerment of the complete home study course called the Applied Lymphology course with the live classes and certifications. Some forms of empowerment and experiences are only performed live. With everything we've done to make the online membership area for the Applied Lymphology course as empowering and impactful as possible, still, some forms of empowerment and experiences are only performed live. Every principle and technique you're learning about are all stepping stones. Knowing how you've been shooting yourself in the foot in the past is a stepping stone. 
It's a key principle or law. Before you know better or how to help people, all you have to do is feel sorry for them. Once you know better, it's a totally different ballgame. From now on, if you catch yourself with stinking thinking ever again, you're hereby given an official notice. You're shooting yourself in the foot. As a scribe for human software and hardware, it's my job to know this is an area of expertise for me. Have you ever heard what goes around comes around? Or live by the sword, die by the sword, as the Bible says? Sending someone bad juju, either knowingly or unwittingly, has a negative repercussion, a negative reaction for yourself. There's such a thing as white magic and black magic. And what we're describing, even as simple as it is, qualifies. Take the coworker or someone you had a very close relationship with as an example. When you broadcast bad juju about them, it creates an imbalance in them, which creates the whole cycle where they're more likely to return the disfavor. When I say, I love everybody, we can love the abuser. We don't have to love the abuse. We've got to love our enemies just to save ourselves. Love our abusers, not the abuse. It takes a lot of love and understanding. I pray for our abusers to become enlightened. Send the pure love of God to them with the intention to help them become the most whole, happy, and healthy person possible. What does that do? It not only breaks the cycle of bad juju returning the disfavor, it also creates a cycle of the good juju returning the favor. I like to show how to put that on steroids. The spirituality is inseparably in everything automatically anyway, whether we want to admit it or not. Since we are all at different levels and having different gifts to bring to the table, it doesn't make sense to criticize anyone for being different. Our strengths come from our differences when we're united on a single goal. When we put the right principles into practice, it affects everyone regardless of race or religion. Whether it's me demonstrating an instant mass healing for a live audience or other amazing gifted people like Amu when she does her spiritual cleansing with a room full of people, a bunch of basket cases, etherically, lots of bad juju going on. When she does her thing, everyone in the room is affected, just like that. It's almost like we have gods and goddesses in our midst sometimes. It's amazing stuff. And of course, I always remember, with as great as we are, and as great as others may have become, to always give thanks to the Most High God, to stay humble, and I keep the Most High God my highest priority and loyalty. And even Christ said, Even greater things ye shall do. So I've always asked, How can it be? And what's possible? And I know many others who approach life in this similar way. We're just pointing out that we've connected with people who have developed powerful gifts and talents in different areas giving us different solutions for different things. And that's all part of the gathering or integration to also recognize who we are and who has gone before us. Well, some of us have been raising our level of abilities to where we've got absolutely amazing solutions. This is important. 